Welcome back to my channel. Solve the positive integer solutions of this equation. a plus 2ab then plus b is equal to 22. Because we are going to solve the positive integer solutions of this equation, so we should factor in the left hand side. But now I have a question. How should we factor in it? But the coefficient of a and b are both 1. But the coefficient of a times b it is 2. So I think this two is just like a ghost. It is very ugly, isn't it? So now, what should we do? We can do this. I'm going to multiply by two on the both sides. Why should we do this? Because two a, two b, and here it will become four times a b. 2a then times 2b, it will become 4ab. So this 2, which we are going to multiply by, is very, very useful. If you multiply by 2 on the both sides, and you can get a then times 2 is 2a. 2 times 2, 4. 2b. 44. Okay. 2a, 2b. This is the product of 2a and 2b. So that's why we're going to do multiply by 2 on the both sides. Now, factory. But I know we lack a number on the left hand side. What should we do? If we lack a number and then we factor it, we add it on both hand sides. That's okay. How should we factor it? It must be 2a mm -hmm, and then something. And then times the term of 2b is equal to, I don't know, maybe plus something or minus something because we lack a number. Now you should pay attention. The coefficient of 2b, the coefficient of 2b is plus 1. So I'm going to add 1 in the bracket in the term of 2a. Only because of this, you can get 2b. Because 2b then times positive 1, it is 2b. And the coefficient of 2a, not a. 2a is also 1, plus 1 in the term of 2b. If you calculate the product of these two terms, and you can get 2a then times 2b is 4ab, we have. And then plus 2a, we have. 2b, we have. But there is a number that we lacked. 1. So that means we have to go to Add one on the both hand sides, and then the right side becomes 45. So now this equation becomes 2a then plus 1, and then times 2b plus 1 is equal to 45. Because a and b are both positive integers, so 2a then plus 1 is an integer, and it has to be greater or equal to 2 times 1 then plus 1 is 3. 2b then plus 1 is also greater or equal to 3. And now 45 has to be separated into two positive integers. So here is 2a plus 1 times 2b plus 1. 45 can separate into 3 then times 15 or cross. Or 15 then times 3. And 9 then times 5. Or 5 then times 9. Only these four cases. There's no more. So now, 2a then plus 1. Maybe 3. 2b, 2b plus 1, 15. Maybe 15, 3. They change the order. And then 9, 5. 
maybe five, nine. Only these four cases. And we have to solve the value of a and b. Then, in this case, a is equal to 1 and b is 7. In this case, a is 7, b is 1. In this case, 2 is 8, so a is 4, and b is 2. In the last case, a is 2 and b is 4. So, so in this question, there are four solutions, four answers. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel for more videos. Subscribe me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.